what is going on everybody welcome for the first time or back to another dlj works video and today what i'm going to show you how to do is how to export your imovie project to a 1080p mp4 it's been a lot of frustration with doing this i've known i've had it and trying to do different converters but that's not even necessary any longer and we're going to get right into it so i have imovie already open um just my movie project and what i'm going to do is i'm going to first show you the incorrect way and the correct way of doing this so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to load up. You see, I have two snake clip videos here. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and use the lower quality one. And now that I put this here, the settings are already set to 720p. All right. Because of the quality video I initially put in here, which this is a 720p video, this is already intended to be a very low quality uh, video. So now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to delete this off. Okay. Now, when you do this, you are defaulting iMovie to be at a 720p, or at least this project, to be at a 720p for the duration of the editing process, which means that by the time you get done with it and you're not paying attention to this, you will not have the option to export your video at 1080p when it is time. So the way we're going to fix this is we're going to completely go out of here. Okay. I'm going to delete these projects here because we dare not need it. Okay, I'm going to create new. All right, now I'm going to load up a different video clip here, a higher quality. This was the original snake footage that I got from Pexels.com, and let me pull that website up. All right. I don't know why my computer is moving slow right now, probably because I got too much open. But you can go to a, a stock photography website, public domain use footage content like Pexels. And you want to get maybe a 4K video, the highest quality video to set that temperature at the right way for iMovie. You can get a 1080p video, too, but it's probably preferable for you to just get a very short clip 4K video. Um, that way you're not taking any chances here. All right, so you can use a website like Pexels. I'll put the link in the description for that. So now I'm going to go ahead and put this into the timeline. And let's check our settings here. And boom, 1080p. It is set at 1080p. So now to make sure that that setting doesn't, that uh, my project doesn't lose that setting. All right, what we're going to do, let me go ahead and mute this real quick here so it doesn't cause any other problems. There we go. All right. I'm going to go ahead and lead us in and what I'm going to do next is I'm going to simply find a lower quality uh, video. All right. Let me actually do this. So I'm going to just use the other snake clip video because now we know that this is 720p. It was already set to that. All right. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this in a timeline and I'm going to delete this. Let's check to see if our settings have changed and they have not. All right, they have not. So now we can actually see that the three second clip that was of this snake that was 720p from the last project has not changed at all from the 1080p. And mind you, it is preferable that you keep the original footage here in your media, your project media space. All right, um, do not delete it until you actually put the first clip, the first piece of content that you're going to edit right behind that footage just in the same way that you saw me do to guarantee that you keep it at 1080p now that we're done with making sure that this is set to 1080p and we can export it that's critical because when we get up here I'll show you why we needed to go through this process so now I'm simply going to go ahead and export this out I'm going to simply come up here go to file or if you need to you can go also come here and go to share as well but we're going to go here now, here goes the MP4 part. So I'm going to leave this. I'm going to just change this as um, Snake Movie. So I'm going to keep the same titles down there in this video. We'll leave all this the same. Now, this is critical. If you notice, if you've had the same frustrations that I have, if your project was defaulted to 720p, you would not be able, this box would not be able to be checked to 1080p because it was never set to that. That wasn't the precedent set for our movie. It's weird. It's like this video game hidden trick or something like that you need to unlock that's the best way i can explain it but it is what it is this would have been grayed out is the bottom line all right so that's why doing this whole process was important it was for the resolution to make sure that we could select 1080p now for the mp4 part this is also critical because there's no option that tells you which one of these 
quality selections are mp4 based all right and it makes a difference you need to leave this quality set as high and its compression set as faster anything else selected is going to change the file format to an mov or something completely different a wave file or something like that that won't really work with other mediums online so we want to make a video that is pretty much easy to upload to any online website social media platform that we want to so you need to leave this as high and leave this as faster now we're going to go to next the estimated file size is 8.7 I'm going to say this to my downloads video all right because it's three seconds uh, let's go ahead and let's just wait for this out all right perfect I'm going to close now let's look at the estimated file size here all right snake movie we can see that it saved as an mp4 and it actually saved at about 9 megabytes it was estimated 8.7 rounded up now what I'm going to do is I'm going to export this now with the highest quality it's only about three seconds just to show you what the difference actually is so we're going to go to ProRes that greatly increased the file size and better quality and we'll go to next I'll go to snake movie 2 all right then we will export this short clip out maybe a little bit longer because it's now a little bit larger but we're going to let this go ahead and export out all right close and let's check to see what the file format is for that as well you notice I named it as sake movie 2 and boom MOV file type just because I changed it to from high quality to ProRes and for better quality from I mean from faster to better quality makes a huge difference in determining if you're going to save it as mp4 or mov well that is it for this video i hope you found this very helpful wanted to bring all these strategies into one place uh like share the video with anybody else that's having the same exact frustration that i have and let them know that they do not have to use any external encoders or converters to get the mp4 format that they are looking for or the 1080p quality that they're trying to achieve i my workaround was actually uploading it to youtube uploading the mov to youtube and then re-downloading it back so i could have it as an mp4 to share across other channels and you just don't have to do that any longer that's it for this video deshaun johnson for dlj works make sure to check out and sign up to the email list for the vimeo ott ultimate guide it is going to be coming here shortly still working on that uh, for all you who are trying to work Vimeo OTT, and yeah, that is it. Deshaun Johnson out. Peace.